Cole Perfetti was drafted 10th overall by the Winnipeg Jets in the 2020 NHL entry draft. I'm not too sure why I said that like a question, but either way, Perfetti is playing for the Manitoba Moose currently in the AHL, which is the Winnipeg Jets affiliate. Obviously, it's kind of how that works. Well, I mean, there is some weird stuff going on right now because of, you know, the current state of the pandemic. So, yeah, I guess... It might not be a direct affiliate, it might be other teams with the same affiliate now. I don't really know how that's happening, but there's some weird stuff going on. Anyways, in the most recent World Juniors, he played for Canada, put up 6 points in 7 games, and currently has 8 points in 16 games with the Moose. So, let's jump in here, and let's see what EA thinks will happen in Cole Perfetti's NHL career. As I'm sure you expected, we are starting in year number one. Perfetti is 72 overall. He's still with Saginaw here, but anyway, he has 59 games played and 42 points with a plus 13 for year one. Goes up to a 75 overall player here. The Minnesota Wild win the cup and the President's Trophy goes to the Toronto Maple Leafs. The top retiring player for year one is going to be Marion Hossa. And on that note, let's jump into year number two now, where Perfetti is 77 overall, still playing for the Saginaw Spirit. But he would get called up at the very end, so it looks like he will be playing for the Jets next season. Put up 101 points there in 60 games and gets to 79 overall. The Blue Jackets are Stanley Cup champions. The Jets actually won the President's Trophy this year. Unfortunately, he had no part in that, though. And Jumbo Joe is the top retiring player for year number two. Let's hop into year number three, where Perfetti will be on the fourth line here with Stepan and Gagne at 81 overall. Here is the defense for the Jets. And in net, they've got Connor Hellebuck, who, by the way, has been an absolute machine in real life recently. The team finishes ninth in the league with 100 points. Perfetti would put up 27 points in 81 games. And we got the Washington Capitals taking home the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup. Patty Marlowe is the top retiring skater this year. Time for year number four here, where Perfetti will be 84 overall on the second line with Appleton and Veselainen. The offense for this team looks ridiculous. The defense is actually not too bad either, and they've got Hellebuck backed up by Koskinen. He would only put up 41 points in 82 games and only three points in nine playoff games. The Jets would finish fifth in the entire league with 105 points, the Rangers with the Cup, Chicago with the President's Trophy, and the Jets were deleted in round number two by Chicago, taking only four games. Jonathan Taves is the top retiring player. In year number five, Perfetti will be on the third line once more here, 85 overall with Sorensen and Hinestroza. The defense looks like this, still pretty good, and they've still got Hellebuck as the starting goaltender. The team finishes 10th in the entire league with 97 points. Perfetti puts up 56 and is a plus 25 this season. On top of that, he puts up 7 points in 13 playoff games, but was a dash 1. The Flames get the cup. The Predators are President's Trophy winners, and the Jets would be eliminated by the Predators there, taking 6 games in round 2. Eric Stahl, the top retiring skater. Moving forward to year number six, still on the third line with Dewar and O'Connor. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but hopefully I did. Dewar, Dewar, no idea. Hellebuck, still the starter. A one-year $6.1 million contract. Team finishes fifth in the Central. Missing the playoffs. A dash 25 for Perfetti. Stanley Cup and Presidents go to Edmonton. And Ovechkin is the top retiring skater for year six. Now, unfortunately, this team just has too much talent, so he is still on the third line here. Just can't find his way up. Hellebuck still the goalie. 111 points, good enough for fourth in the league. Very close to Presidents. A dash 5 and 54 points from Perfetti. Six points in 10 playoff games with a plus 4. Chicago with the Cup. The Oilers with the Presidents Trophy. The Jets are eliminated by Chicago in six games. Round 2. Johnny T is the top retiring player for year number 7. Continuing on as we do, Perfetti finally up on the second line with Landis Cog and Vessel line, and that is a very good looking line there. They no longer have Hellebuck, which is kind of unfortunate. Signs another one year, $6.1 million deal. The team finishes eighth in the league with 103 points. Perfetti puts up 64 points and is a plus eight. Also puts up 11 points in 16 playoff games. The Lightning with the Cup, the Stars with the President's Trophy, and the Jets are eliminated in the conference final there. That's the farthest they've made it yet. 
And we are entering the famous last year before the double digits here. Perfetti, 86 overall, still with Landis Cog and Vesta Lion. And the defense looks meh at this point. They got Askarov, though, 91 overall. He signs a four-year, $7.2 million contract extension. The team finishes ninth in the league, just shy of 100 points. Perfetti puts up 65 points in 81 games and 8 points in 10 playoff games there the Tampa Bay Lightning win back-to-back -back cups the Columbus Blue Jackets with the Presidents and the Jets are swept by the Predators in round two Patrick Kane is going to be the top retiring skater this year with 1,721 points let's get after year 10 now where Perfetti will be playing with Mercer and Veselainen still on the second line the defense has really tailed off Askarov in net they will finish eighth in the league with 98 points Perfetti puts up 60 and 82 but is a dash five. He also is almost a pointy game player here in the playoffs. The Stars win the cup, the Devils with the President's Trophy, and the Stars would eliminate the Winnipeg Jets in round number two, taking six games. John Carlson is the top retiring skater this year. Now it's time for year 11. Mercer, Tara Vinen, and Perfetti will make up the second line for the Winnipeg Jets this season. Well, at least to start anyway. 104 points. The Jets will finish fourth in the league. Perfetti puts up 72 points this time around and 11 points in seven playoff games. The Stars with the Cup, the Devils with the President's Trophy, and the Stars would also beat the Jets in round one there, taking seven games. Steven Stamkos, top retiring skater. Year number 12. We've got Perfetti, Dubois, and Olofsson as the second line to start out here. Askarov, 90 overall, the starting goaltender. The team finishes fifth in the central with 85 points. Perfetti puts up 89 points in 82 games, leading the team this year. Only three points in six playoff games with a dash three. The Leafs with the cup, the Oilers with the President's Trophy. And an elimination from the Oilers in round one, taking six games. Johnny Goudreau will be the top retiring skater this year, just shy of 1,300 points. And it's time for year number 13. Nothing really special about it. Well, I mean, he's on the first line now, 90 overall. So I guess that is pretty special. His first time being promoted all the way up to the top there. Six years, basically $11 million extension. The team finishes sixth in the league there. And Perfetti puts up 62 points in 82 games. Montreal gets both the Stanley Cup and the President's Trophy. And the Jets get eliminated in round two by the Chicago Blackhawks taking six games. Leon Dreisaitl will be the top retiring skater for year number 13. Perfetti will still be on the first line, but he is now 86 overall with Connor and Boyer. The defense for this team is, yeah, I don't know what happens in the later years in this game, but this seems pretty standard at this point. That's what I've found anyway. The Jets finish 7th in the league. Perfetti, 84 points and a plus 18. Only 1 point in 6 playoff games, though. The Canadians with a Stanley Cup and President's Trophy again. The Dallas Stars beat the Jets in round 1, taking 6 games. And ADB is the top retiring skater this year, just over 1,400 points. Cole Perfetti will still be on the first line with Boyer and Connor. The defense looks like this, not really getting any better. Askarov still in net, and the team will really struggle this year, finishing 7th in the central, getting 84 points. Perfetti will put up 58 points and have a dash 14. Another cup for the Canadians and a President's Trophy for the Stars. Nate Mack is the top retiring skater. For year 16, Perfetti is down to 84 overall. Still on the first line for the Jets, but that is not saying much. This team looks rough. Askarov in net, but he actually got traded to the Predators sometime through the season. I'm not sure, but they finished fourth in the league. 63 points in 80 games from Perfetti. He also put up 8 points in 12 playoff games. The Pittsburgh Penguins take home the Stanley Cup and the President's Trophy. And the Nashville Predators deleted by the Stars in round 2. Austin Matthews is the top retiring skater. Perfetti will remain with the Predators on the second line. He's down to 82 overall, though, and this team looks rough. They must have lost a lot of players that offseason. They finished last in the Central. Perfetti puts up 33 points and is a dash 37. The Oilers get the Cup. The Stars get the President's Trophy. And Pedersen is the top retiring skater this year. Year number 18, Perfetti going to be on the Predators still here. Third line, 80 overall. The team still does not look good at all, and it reflects. They finish last in the Central once more. Perfetti is a dash 21 with 34 points, and Calgary wins the Cup. The Stars get the President's Trophy. 
Jack Hughes is the top retiring skater for year 18. Cole will end up playing for the Boston Bruins here in his last season, 80 overall. Still on the third line. This team looks, I don't know, mediocre, I guess. The teams, like, the, the goalie, what is that? Like, what's going on there, EA? I just don't understand. But 72 overall, he ended up getting sent down. The team finished last in the Atlantic. Oh, boy. The Senators with the Cup, Pittsburgh with the President's Trophy, and 947 points in the career of Cole Perfetti here with an overall dash 57 and a dash 8 in playoffs with 82 points in 122 games. So I've actually been slacking on posting this because the sim didn't really go super well. But you know what? He still had some good playoff runs. And if you want my honest opinion, I would say that this is fairly realistic point wise. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that. Consider that a hot take but I don't care. So I actually kind of got confused with the whole contract situation. So technically, I guess he had 17 years under contract because he played the first two in Saginaw. But anyway, the total value of the contracts ended up being about 120 million. He unfortunately did not win any individual trophies as you saw clearly, otherwise I would have shown it. And also there was no team accolades, which is very unfortunate. Throughout his career, he played majority with Winnipeg and... Finished off with Nashville and Boston at the very end there. So anyways guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later.